Hi everybody, thanks for clicking the video. Really appreciate you taking time out of your day to uh, watch this. Now, today's video, guys, is all about how, how to prepare yourself for your perfect round of golf, okay? Now, this is for all the golfers who, who kind of have play regularly on their home course. Uh, and what I've learned is from when I used to play full-time on tour, we used to have to travel and play different courses every week, and we had to get to know the course, find out our strategy for that course in our way, and a way for us to score the best with the shot arsenal that we have. Now, what I've got here, and you should have for, for your course, for your home course, I've got a selection of planners here prepared for today. Um, of some courses that I've played in in tournaments here in the East region of England, and my home course here at the Cambridge as well. Um, so what I'm gonna show you is how to use these books correctly, the birdie books, and, and, and fix a strategy, a whole by whole strategy, so that you can prepare, practice, and get ready to play your perfect round of golf. So how do we do that? Now, well, using the, 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 the card, the birdie book, it's important that first of all you, you look at the hole. First hole, I'm going to I'm going to use this one here. This is Fox Hills, um, and I'm playing the Seniors Championship here later on this year. I played it last year, and this is the first hole at the Long Cross. Okay, so I've got my book, and this is what I got when I arrived there. I'd never played the course before, and then I'd go and uh, play and make my notes. So prepare prepare my strategy for the course, and the first hole from the championship tee is a 408 yard par four. I'll show you this, this is the curve, this, this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna explain how my strategy worked for that hole. Okay, now the first hole, it has a bunker on the left hand side at 281. And the water hazard on the right hand side off the tee at 245. So I'm working out now with my shots that with the driver, the left-hand bunker is in play for me. That's going to be dangerous. If I miss my target of the center of the fairway, that bunker on the left is going to be round about where my drive's going to, going to be finishing and landing. It's slightly downhill, this, as well, to note. And then there's another hazard on the right-hand side, which is 245. So first of all, I've got to work out what is my strategy from the tee on the first hole. So for me, when I'm playing that hole, when I'm on the first hole in the tournament, I'm decided, I know what my plan is. And I've got a little note in the top right, left-hand corner here, which I made last year, and it says three wood, right half. Now that's because the fairway slopes from right to left, and I, wanna, I don't want to bring the left-hand bunker in place. So I can't reach it with my three wood, but I can with my driver. So that takes the left bunker out of play because I can't reach it anyway. I just have to make sure now that I, I, I aim to land it on the right half of the fairway and then it will kick in to the center. And even if I miss slightly left, which is my personal tendency anyway, I am not gonna reach the bunker. So my, my, biggest, my biggest miss there is gonna be short left of the bunker and that's fine and that will give me about 130 yards then to the green. Now then going into more detail, if your birdie card's a really good one, you'll also have a, a plan of the green as well. And there you go, that's the same hole, and that's the plan of the green with some dimensions on there. And what that's gonna uh, help is with the pin position of where then on the green, once I've got the pin, it's 13 on six from the right, it was on this day, I've made a note of that. And I can see if it's 13 on, it's, there's, this little, there's a slope in that green on the left side, so I want to be aware of that when I'm a, a, attacking the flag, so I can place my ball better on the green. So what I want you to try and do, the point of this, is that I want you to take your home course, your, your stroke saver, and plot per hole, every single hole, plot your strategy. But also then make a note per hole when you're playing your perfect round, presuming you're going to hit every shot, write down which club you're going to hit off the tee, and then the club that you're going to hit from the, the position you finished in to the green. And write that down on a, on a piece of paper for every hole. And then look at this after 18 holes, after you've got your 18 hole strategy of what you're hitting, where, and which clubs you will be hitting from that position on an average day. 
then you want to look for any patterns. What I noticed on, on, on my analysis is that I hit driver on this course about 12 times, three wood a couple of times, and then I've got my par three iron shot. So driving is a key club for this course. And then the mid irons to long irons were the ones that I was needing more than the short irons. So I would focus my practice on the mid and longer irons in preparation for this golf course. So my, my practice time would be heavily invested in my tee shots with my driver, getting that online and consistent. And I will practice my six iron, five irons, four irons and hybrids as well. Not a lot of the short game in the pre-round warm up and in my practice session. So I'm practicing the clubs that I'm gonna hit for this course. I'm not just hitting willy-nilly anything all the way through the bag. My practice is gonna be structured and planned around the golf course holes that I'm gonna play. So when you think of your course, plan a strategy for each hole. Know what you're gonna hit off the tee, what you're gonna hit of your second shot and on the par fives, even your third shots. And once you've written that all down, stroke holes one to 18, look for some patterns, see if there are any clubs that you're hitting more often than others, and then practice with those specific clubs in preparation for your perfect round. Okay guys, so give that a go. Uh, the more detail you can put into your preparation, the more you know what to practice, and then you're preparing for success. Okay, so it won't be uh, such a, uh, a surprise when you play your perfect round because you've planned it already and you might find after the round wherever you drop your shots wherever you didn't make your points up then maybe practice those specific holes that you struggle on on the driving range on the practice ground where you are at your club practice specifically for that that hole and hit the shot if it's a four iron par three and you hit it and you miss the green too often then practice that for that shot but make it real on the range Make it feel as though you're actually on the golf course and hitting that shot onto that par three. If it's your opening drive, visualize the, the tee shot. For me, I'm gonna practice hitting my three woods a little bit more. In preparation for that first tee shot, I wanna be confident. I wanna hit it right half. I'm gonna picture the ferry. I can see the bunker left. I can't reach it, but I'm aiming right of it. And I'm gonna work on that three wood off that, that first tee. Okay, so that's how I'm going to prepare. I'm going to get to practicing now in preparation for my next round of golf at this club. And then I'll know and I'll be ready to, prep, to play that perfect round to my strategy that I've chosen. Okay, so enjoy that, guys. Let me know you get on. Um, like I said, preparing for your perfect round of golf is just taking a little bit of time and writing down the clubs that you need more often on your course and then practicing with those clubs. Okay, enjoy that. Hope that helps. Let me know how you're going on and I'll speak to you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Darren Scholes, signing off.